Thank you so much for coming. This is uh, about to be talk, and uh, we believe all of us we are in. Today, uh, I shall lead you in discussing the styles of news writing. I believe all of us have uh, encountered about the term styles of news writing. Uh, we have like three of them, and uh, maybe to start with uh, any idea or anybody with an idea of what a style of news writing is before I give you my discussion, before I give you the details of what actually this concept is. A style of news is very uh, say a style of news writing is the way the way we should should uh, work plan news that's the that's safe and the meaning that's to be put into the conclusion. Exactly. So, uh, the basics of the style or uh, news writing style is um, the way we package our information. It matters a lot because, you know, as a news writer, you want to convey information to the people, uh, to masses. And this means that uh, these people need a clear information of what happened, how it happened, and um, the fact that you use you learned in your uh, uh, previous studies. So, maybe to mention, we have three styles, the basic three styles of news writing. Number one is uh, the normal pyramid style of uh, news writing. So, when you talk about the normal pyramid, a pyramid looks like this, right? Yeah. So, it means that you are starting with less important information at the top of your information or at the top of your writing, you are starting with less important information. Like for example, by somebody reading that first uh, title and maybe the first paragraph, same paragraph, he or she may fail to know or to capture what is uh, what you're trying to say in, in that case. But now approaching to the fat end of, uh, of, of the pyramid is now when this person is able to be informed. So, so. Yeah, so that is why the bottom line is very fat and the, the up is um, just a small uh, section of it of the pyramid. So that is the first style of news writing. And um, when we come to number two is the now the inverted pyramid style of news writing. In this, it is the opposite of the normal pyramid. So we have the fat end at the top and then uh, this sharpest end um, facing downwards. So it means you start with the most juicy information. Like somebody reading the book and reading the first paragraph and the second, he or she is able to comprehend and understand what you want to, uh, to convey, even if uh, he or she fails to read up to the last paragraph. So that is what you call the uh, inverted pyramid style of writing. And then we have the last one now called um, the five W's and the H. The five W's and the H. So when, when it comes to five W's and the H, we have five W's. So in this case, um, I, 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 I can give you one, a chance to maybe uh, to mention one of the five W's. Uh, the first one is who? Who? Yes. What? Yes, we have the what? When? We have the when? Where? We have the where. And that, those are? Four. We have one. That is number five. And the last one is H. Yeah. So what's up? Yes. Like for example, if something happens, God forbid, maybe an accident, um, we can have um, a matter to uh, four dead following an accident um, after a matatu collided head on with a lorry ending or in Naivasha. So that can be a sentence having um, five W's and H. So in an accident setup, for example, we can have what happened. So it is the accident, right? Then who was involved? Maybe um, maybe four died or one died. So the people who are in the car in that matatu. Then where? It is the number, Naivasha. Then why? Maybe the matter was trying to overlap 
and um, uh, uh, a game. Then it meets uh, head on with another oncoming lorry. So that is um, the how. So when you capture that in a story, is when now we say you have built the R, the W's, and the H. And um, it is not a matter to capture this in the first paragraph, or you must capture this in the, uh, the preceding paragraphs. You can spread uh, these five W's and the H. You can have one in the first paragraph, or you can have one or two in the first paragraph. You have the rest in the preceding paragraphs. So, so. And then the, um, the H should also come, it should not come in the first. Maybe coming in the third or second paragraph. So, so long as you don't need to give us an information on how the accident or how that occurrence happened. Now, um, coming to the almost the end of my discussion, as a journalist working in a busy newsroom, what is the recommended style of news writing if at all you are given an assignment to write a news with a story or to write a story? Everybody will give me this or a preferred style of writing from TV. Which style will you um, uh, go for? I will go for five degrees and an edge. So you capture the five degrees and an edge. What, where, when, when, and you ensure that you give full details of the information as required. I prefer the inverted pyramid. Inverted pyramid. So you want to give us the juicy information first before you give us other stories and then in between you finish your, your style. And for me, I believe in the media first that is the same that I is the same the media for writing stories. Yes, uh, for her she will go ask for the house policy, the policies of a, a given media house. Thank you. For me, I go for the I think those all those are uh, uh, working uh, for you people, and I think um, we have learned a lesson, or we have uh, had a very fruitful uh, discussion. Unless anybody has a question before I end my discussion, there. Yes, there is no other concern or question. Thank you so much for listening to me. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.